Hello everyone, my name is Shay Girpan and in this video we are going to learn short crit. It has many names short crit, gunite, or spread concrete. So it is that concrete or mortar which is conveyed through a horse pipe. See in this picture, this is a horse pipe from which it is conveyed pneumatically means with the help of air pressure and projected at high velocity of pressure it is projected over the surface by high pressure or velocity by jetting or spraying action this is spraying of the concrete over the surface it is simply spraying of the concrete over the surface through the pipes is called as short crit or gunite and it was first used in 1914 and see Short crit is a mixture of aggregates and Portland cement which are conveyed by compressed air that is pneumatically conveyed to the nozzle here it is nozzle of a spray gun this is spray gun where the water is added even with water water can be also added at the spray gun that is at the end portion and for the structural purposes or structural uses it is applied over framework of reinforcing bars and steel mesh because it can take any shape that it can be easily colored it can be molded into any shape and it can be even sculptured after the application so what is short crit it is just spraying or jetting of the concrete pneumatically that is by compressed air with the help of high pressure and through the which is converted through the horse pipe that is short crit and it is sometimes used in tunneling to bind the walls of the tunnel to prevent the leaks even in the tunnel construction it is also widely used to bind the tunnel walls also because we don't want any leakages into the tunnel so this concrete can be best suited for the tunnel purposes also then it is applied by using either wet process or dry mix process what is wet mix short crit or what is dry mix short crit process let's see the wet mix short crit process will mix first we will mix all the ingredients that will include also water as it is a wet mix before they are put into the delivery hose pipe means first we will add all the ingredients that is aggregates cement and also the water and then they will be inserted or introduced into the delivery hose pipe and in dry mix short crit concrete this process will involve addition of water to the mix at the nozzle portion means we will add first we will insert dry mix into the pipe and we will add the water at the nozzle at the end portion of that so that is wet mix short crit process and dry mix short crit process now let's see the properties of short crit it is more durable as we are using more cement content because we need to be spread the concrete so for spreading the concrete what we do we add more cement paste because all the concretes are properly lubricated with the cement paste so we add more water and more cement paste specially to make it more durable then no vibration is needed we do not require any vibration for that concrete it is it will directly consolidated into particular part of the reinforcements a particular part of the form work and it is spread directly at a high velocity directly over the surface so it will not need any special vibration processes then it will require less form work and therefore it will be suited for the structures which will require complex form works such as the structures which involve complex form works are domes arches or any curved surfaces that require complex structures so this concrete is best suited for that then it is also strong and durable life is more then it has low permeability and the speed of construction can also be achieved as we are directly applying this concrete or directly spraying this concrete over the surfaces so speed of construction can be achieved and there will be fast erection even in the complex structures also now let's see the applications of short crit or gunite the first is it is commonly used to line the concrete tunnels 
see this portion is lining this nothing but see this is the curve portion and this is the lining to protect it from the leakages so it is best suited for the lining work of tunnel and tunnels of highways as well as railways then it is also used in mines and subways and then for slope stabilization for the mountains or for the hilly roads specially the, the slopes will need to be stabilized so for the stabilization of slopes this concrete can be best suited then in also hydropower plants you can use it then it is also used for canal lining see this is the canal and this is the lining which is done so it can also be used for the lining of canals and in building foundations you can use also and for sea walls also you can use it and last for the parking even the garages or parking garages can also be constructed by using the short grid so these are the applications of short grid so this was the video about short grid we have seen its applications what are its properties and what is short grid that we have seen in this video thank you